Hello everyone, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking about how Disney is incapable of taking a joke. Now, they've been doing a lot of marketing stuff for their new movie, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and been, you know, really promoting the fact that the Disney princesses are in it, that other, you know, characters from other Disney franchises are in it, like Star Wars. And Disney has their heads so far up their bums that they do not understand that joking around is a very normal thing. You look at any of the Disney princess scenes that they show, and guess what? They're basically making fun of themselves and the fact that, you know, they get captured and they need a prince to save them. That's in their own trailer. Now, apparently, again, like I said, Disney has their heads so off up their bums that they cannot take a joke and they had to make sure that a certain scene or line was cut out of the movie because it's a joke that is directed at Kylo Ren. Now if you are familiar with my channel you know what my feelings are towards Kylo Ren, excuse me. I cannot stand him. I think he is an absolutely horrible character, he is not well written, and it looks like they put no thought into his character or its development. This could also have been a very big problem due to, you know, the differences between J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson and him just throwing out everything out the window that J.J. had in store for him. But still, just from The Force Awakens, he was a horrible character. He is not a good villain. He is not a scary villain at all. Now, Disney can't take a joke about this because they know that I'm right and they know that that is true, that he is a weak villain and he's not a good character. Characters like the Emperor and Darth Vader, you can say as many jokes about them as you want. Heck, you can go watch any South Park, Robot Chicken, or what is it, a uh, Family Guy version of Star Wars. They can make as many jokes about the Emperor and Darth Vader that they want, but guess what? They are still great characters and they are horrifying villains. They are scary. You go up against the Emperor or Darth Vader, you're most likely going to die. Unless you're Luke Skywalker, something is going to happen to you. Whereas you go up against Kylo Ren, he's going to go into an elevator and throw a temper tantrum or have creepy force, you know, Skype calls with you. He's not scary in the slightest. So the fact that they are able to joke about him in the movie, or at least they were, a were going to be able to, but Disney saw you know, oh my gosh, if they make a joke about Kylo Ren, everyone's going to know what, you know, a horrible character he is, and we need to cut this out of the movie. If they were able to actually, you know, joke about Kylo Ren, and Disney was able to, you know, just take it, that would show the fact, you know, that they're mature adults, and that he is actually, you know, they're going to stand behind their character. And joking is a natural part of being a human. I mean... I don't know what Disney thinks humans are like, but apparently they think that it is, you know, not possible to joke about this character because they're so sensitive about it because they know that he's horrible. And if this joke, you know, gets out there, apparently it's going to stick and it's going to ruin this, you know, in Disney's eyes, perfect vision of what they want Kylo Ren to be. But guess what? Nobody likes Kylo Ren. He is a horrible horrible character and the people that do like him are you know on the Disney bandwagon with oh you know it's just sexist misogynistic man babies that don't like Kylo Ren and hate on these movies no people don't like him because he is not a good character he is a crybaby that throws temper tantrums in the prequels when Anakin was a crybaby and threw a temper tantrum guess what he did he murdered an entire village of people then he goes off and destroys the Jedi temple and he becomes Darth Vader who is horrifying it shows the evolution of his character or what does Kylo Ren do oh my gosh I had a mommy and daddy that loved me and an uncle that wanted me to succeed in life and not go to the dark side. Oh my gosh, my life is so horrible. Nobody cares about Kylo Ren because he is a horrible character. There is nothing about him that is interesting. There is nothing about him that makes him a good villain. So, you know, apparently this joke that they have about him, Disney knows that it's going to even more ruin the image of Kylo Ren. And they are that sensitive and they cannot take jokes because they know that it will stick with this character and it will even more, you know, validate the fact that he is not a well-written character and he is a horrible villain. And Disney is just showing this and confirming everything by the fact that they don't want any jokes about him to get out there because it will just validate, you know, us and our points 
more. And the only time I ever saw Kylo Ren as maybe a scary character that was well written was in an SNL skit. And that was before The Last Jedi came out and it was actually with Adam Driver where he was as Kylo Ren and he did like the undercover bossing and at the end he murdered the guy that, you know, was joking about Kylo Ren. That was the scariest I have ever seen Kylo Ren. And it was, excuse me, I'm getting the hiccups, it was in an SNL skit. Not even a movie that was, you know, the plot based around him and his character. That is very, very sad, and that just shows you the difference between good writing and bad writing. And unfortunately, Disney, the billion dollar company, has bad writing and cannot write a good villain. And the fact that a 10 minute SNL skit showed off the character better than Disney did is just sad. And they cannot take a joke because they know that their character will not survive that joke and it will stick with it. And they are just showing and proving more and more how much they do not understand the, the characters or the universe that they are interacting with and trying to sell to us. So everyone, have a great rest of your day and may the force be with you because we are going to need it.